The following is a review of a comic book and should not be looked at as an endorsement of the creator involved. If you really think that, you should have yourself checked out because you're reading into things that aren't there. Also, the quality of this video is low. If you're expecting higher standards, go check out me at Nerd at Newsstand or something else. What you see is what you get. Thank you and enjoy. Hey guys, StarCraft here and, well, it's time to wrap this all up with the newest issue of Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies Resurrection. Sorry for the lighting, took me a little while late to get in here to get in my comics, so. So, okay, there we go, much better. And in this case, this is a story that's, okay. It's still not the Hunger Gods book, but it's also not in the mainstream Marvel Universe, so they can go nuts. And then, it's still its own thing, but I'm curious on where this is going. This feels like a return to form. You, we have Philip Kennedy Johnson as, as, on writer, as art writer, and Leonard Kirk on artwork. As we open up with a mysterious figure, pretty sure it's Galactus, just dwindling in, sp and dwindling in space, when Reed brings some of the intellects to, you know, in um, the, I guess the, it was Cap as well, alongside Top about saying that they had a message, received a message from Carol, Captain Marvel, about something involving Galactus. They don't know what it is, but he's not moving. So whoever could do that to Galactus, yeah. And if his tech was taken as well, game changing. So, so many of the heroes go and of the heroes decide to head out. Magneto, Magic, Wolverine, the Four, Thor, Iron Man and War Machine, and Cap, of course. They all started heading on out. Spidey and some of the others stick around behind. And once they do, they make their way towards Galactus, and while well, they find he's dead. Who could do this to Galactus? No one knows at the moment. But they all head on in and Wolverine starts sniffing around, saying that he recognizes the smell. Okay, I'm not a perfect aficionado with the, with the lore, but I have no idea what he's talking about throughout all this. But again, I do like how um, Johnson has got a bunch of the personalities down. Like Reed is so interested. You have Wolverine talking with magic, saying like, I know you don't need it, but I got your back. You got my back. That's so cute. But then Wolverine, then, like I said, he starts to recognize the smell. He knows what it is as we see someone shamble towards them. As meanwhile, we're seeing um, Reed is deciding to want to keep on studying Galactus. Tony thinks, yeah, not a good idea. We should blow it up. And all of a sudden, then um, something weird is going on. And now, those of you who don't like her are going to smile. The first Marvel hero, that, hero, mind you, to be infected. It's Captain Marvel. <laughs> and soon she attacks them, um, magic attacks. Then Groot shows up, pulls her, we are Groot. And Wolverine's saying like, I know what you are, I know. And well, he's attacked by a bunch of Shi'ar, Brood, etc., etc. So many of them are coming, it's Skrulls. They're all coming out to attack. And then once they make it through and they continue on looking around, just wondering what the heck this place is. Um, Stu's still trying to talk to Reed, saying, we need to destroy it. But Reed's like, we've come this far. No. But when they do, Silver Surfer shows up. In this case, his silver skin melts off as he attacks Ben. No, Johnny, sorry. Meanwhile, others like Magic are being converted and attacking. Everyone is, done, is being eaten. Cap orders Wo um, Thor to leave. Argue with him as Thor comes upon um, Gladiator. Um, Johnny is starting to rot away as um, sorry, as he's talking to Sue, and then Ben goes in and they fights them off. But then as they're heading out, now I don't know what happened to Sue here. Why she just starts to die then, but she does. And then she attacks Reed. Then we go to 
War Machine is wondering what's going on, guys. And then Thor has been transforming, coming at him. We then cut, um, and he takes out, yeah, he takes out War Machine as the whole ship blows up. We see Peter helping keep an eye on um, Franklin and um, with some of the other characters. As well, then they're wondering, like, what's going on up there? Whatever it is. It's, I mean, he bets it's going to be scary as the life of this corpse is coming into the atmosphere. To be continued. Not anytime soon. This is a prequel to a series. Continuation is going to happen next year, I believe. But, yeah. This was a return to form. These are going to be more of the traditional argh, zombies, but I, don't, I can accept that. As long as we still have the heroes going on, and it's do, it's basically making Marvel zombies more traditional zombies, and I'm fine with that. I mean, yes, there's still you having Carol talking everything, but it's clearly not Carol's personality. Something else is doing it. Whatever it is, Wolverine recognizes it. I don't know, but still, this is damn good. And that's the end of Marvel zombies, my Marvel zombies retrospective. I'm still going to be doing the um, interview with Fred Van Lente eventually. But before that, I just want to say thank you guys for all this. And yeah, it's been a blast. And I'm so glad I ended out on a better note than Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies. But uh, yeah, uh, that's all. Happy Halloween if, uh, for many of you. And the rest of you, take care.